Hey friends, this is Kevin Baxter coming to you from NCSSM Morganton, and I'm excited to introduce you to the repurposed cattle barn that is opening soon here on campus. Uh, this is an icon for the community and the region that was part of the North Carolina School for the Deaf uh, and opened back in 1940. We are so thrilled and pleased to be in a position where we can breathe new life into this facility and make it into a space that can serve our students and programs, but also our partners around the region. So as we go into the building, I just want to point out that this used to be a two-story facility. And as we go through the interior, I'll point out how that has changed. Here on the interior, we have some of our back of house spaces, including um, an office space and some restroom facilities for program attendees. But really the, the, the true excitement, it comes when you walk into the main double high space of the cattle barn. As I mentioned, this used to be two stories and we've actually removed the second story from this large program area here in the center so that you can see all the way up to the original substructure of the roof of the historic barn down to the barn floor where cattle used to reside. And we have bumped out the facility to the east where the uh, brick wall is no longer standing. And that allows us to maximize the square footage to serve the most variety of programs for our campus and beyond. You'll be able to see things here from uh, theatrical activities to lectures to banquets. And it's gonna be an amazing facility that is supported back of house by a catering kitchen and an office manager who is uh, in the southern tip of the building. On the eastern side of the building, we have a terrace and it's gonna be the location of our brand new donor wall, which is going to celebrate the incredible folks who have stepped forward to activate this space and so many others across our campus with a leadership gift in support of NCSSM Morganton. You'll also see that beyond this pre-function area that on the furthest eastern part, there is a uh, outdoor terrace. And that's gonna be a location where program attendees and students alike will be able to step outside, enjoy some fresh air. And when we don't have events occurring, it can be used as a uh, location for students and others to gather and engage with one another or to get some uh, personal time and look out to the tranquil spaces to the east at the School for the Deaf, Western Piedmont Community College and beyond. So on the interior of the barn, uh, as we look to the, the large space again where the programs occur, we have the original second floor still in place on the north and south ends of the facility. We're repurposing that space to create tiered uh, seating on the mezzanine level, and that will allow for us to expand capacity and grow up to 450 or so program attendees for certain types of events. Uh, that's gonna be the only fixed seating in the entire facility and everything else will be designed to be flexible. And finally, wanna point out just the incredible view shed off to the south as we look to the South Mountains, our largest state park here in North Carolina and really recognize this unique space in which the program and the building are located. Uh, it's an incredible opportunity to um, celebrate the past but also think ahead to the future as we de deliver a new space to the region and our school.